The demand by Nigerians for an end to the special anti-robbery squad has been a long-drawn battle, with hashtag NSARS campaign trending now and again. However, the trigger of the latest round of protests is a video that went viral on social media recently, showing some people chasing a SARS vehicle after a man was allegedly shot and thrown out of the police vehicle. But the Delta State Police Command later denied the allegation, claiming the video was fake. Days later, a suspect the police said was behind the video was paraded by the command in Asaba. Whether fake or genuine, that video set off an outrage across the country with calls for the scrapping of the police squad and for Nigerians to troop out in protest against the special police unit. That call was not ignored as youth began marching in the streets of several cities across the country demanding an end to SARS. Lekki Phase 1 was the point of convergence in Lagos on Thursday, October the 8th. Yes! Answers! 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 Enough enough! Celebrities Fowls and Ron Town led the protest from there to the government house at Marina. They were accompanied by men of the Nigeria police. Now you can't tell the difference between SARS and Amroba. They have no uniform for identification. First of all, you can't approach someone that you're trying to protect when you're not able to identify yourself and you're not wearing a uniform. We are saying NSARS now because the system is not working. We know what they're doing on the road. They're not on the road to solve any crimes. They're on the road to take money from people. They're on the road to get, find who's the, who, the, who their next victim is going to be, who they're going to take to the station, who they're going to extort money from. A representative of the Lagos state government also addressed them, assuaging their fears before they left. Youths representing different organizations and schools in Kwara State said they wanted FSAR scrapped and not reformed, as proposed by the police authorities. Do you want to be key? No! Do you want SARS? No! They were accompanied by security operatives from the post office area of Ilori to the police headquarters and were received by the Deputy Commissioner of Police. Your petitions are well noted, well documented. Forward to the Commissioner of Police, Forest Command, who will in turn forward it to the Commissioner of Police to look at it and take deep and proper action. From the Police Command, the youth moved to the government house where they lamented the killings by SARS operatives. The calmness that characterized the protests in Lagos and Kwara states was absent in Imo State. Everybody back! The protesters were dispersed with tear gas by the officers of the Imo State Police Command. In the process, the divisional police officer of OG Division pulled out his gun at the protesters. In Benin City, a group of youths converged on Ring Road before marching to the NUJ Secretariat and later to the Edo State Police Headquarters to express their grievances. Our people are not even afraid of armed robbers. They are now afraid of the police that are supposed to maintain law. I was born 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, but now we are saying end to SARS. The protesters also hit the streets in the nation's capital, Abuja. Besides the placards calling for the end of SARS, their chants included a demand to see the Inspector General of Police. The force PRO was on hand to address them. Regardless of the current situation, it now remains to be seen whether the demands of the protesters to have the special police unit, SARS, outrightly ended are met.